Mia reviews in fun. All the fun starts here. Book reviews, cooking tutorials, SSO, gaming, and realistic role play. Subscribe. School's out. Finally. Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin Nightwing and today something was telling me that I should do a vlog. So I've just been let out of school and today's a really exciting day since since after Snow Angel was so I really need a new horse and my parents have finally agreed to get me. So now I'm heading home to change into some horse buying appropriate clothes and there's this guy who said he'll trail a horse over to my place so I could look at it so I'm really excited and come on join me five minutes of waiting on the bench finally saw my father's car pull up so after giving him a little wave I got up and I Ran out of the window and as usual told him how upset I am that he's late, although I'm really joking. I know he is, he works a lot and it's really and I'm really grateful he takes the time to come at all. So anyway, after I'm done targeting my father, I open the car door and get inside. And if you guys are wondering how did my father's red car suddenly turn black, uh, actually my dad didn't really take us, take me the whole way home. So in the middle of the journey, I caught a ride with my grandmother, the Baroness. So after think, after thanking grandma for giving me a lift, I ran inside. So I could do my homework before the new people actually got here. And it's getting really late. And it's like a two-hour journey from Jarlheim, where I go to school, to come back to the Silvergate Manor, where I live. And that guy told us it was no problem and that he was happy to bring the horse over in the night. So I'm just going to... Where's my key? There it is. Yep, time to unlock the door. My mom made a condition that I had to do my homework before I even thought of horses, so I just finished it. And now I'm like super excited to go and see the new horse. But before that, I really want to change into something more appropriate. So let's go to my wardrobe. And my insisted, I'm wearing my favorite peachy coral dress to wear my favorite sandals whoever wanted me to buy this horse for me to ride her then and there i put on my hard hat but i was also very really excited because like i've been riding a lot of a lot of the school horses but it's not the same as having a horse of my own so let's go out my horse Darling, we do not know if this is your horse yet. She might not be right for you. Anyway, the guy who dropped her off is right over there having a coffee. You might want to go talk to him. He, she, he said that she would not come off the trailer and thought that you might have better luck with her. Okay, thanks, Mom. Where's this horse of yours? <laughs> oh, well, she didn't do a world coming out of the you might want to go and see for yourself. Okay, thanks, Carney. Think about this like, if a horse couldn't even get off the trailer, it must mean they're high strung, right? But when I first laid my eyes on her, I knew that this horse was meant for me. I mean, we went to meet her. She seemed excited, but it's only normal for a horse that was just getting into its new home. Well, I hoped it'll be her new home at least. So the first thing I did was give her some love, 
and I decided to to lead her down the trailer. See how she, you know, behaved in a new surrounding. From the way she walked, I could tell she was a really highly strong horse. And she wouldn't let any beginner or hacker ride her. She needed a gentle hand. Yet a hand that knew what they were doing. And somehow I just knew that she came into this world to be my horse. I took her over to, I took her over to Carney to ask which paddock I should turn her out. Hey, Carney, which paddock do you want me to turn her out? In? Um, the west one down there. Try not to get her hurt. Oh, don't worry. I won't. So then I took Star Starlight, Star Bright. Oh, who am I kidding? What what is what should her new name be? I mean, I'm not even sure if this is this is really gonna be my horse. She, she could be going off. I don't know where tomorrow. Grandma had made it really clear that I was not riding today. It was way too late, and I sort of agreed with her. I did not want to go riding and get hurt on a new horse, especially, and she needed time to settle in. So I took her down to the west paddock. kind of got tired of leading her. She had this expression in her eyes that was begging me to do it. I might have been crazy. Call me crazy. But I did anyway. She felt really good to ride. She might be highly strong, but she didn't know what she was doing. She kept trying to break her into a canter, but I kept trying to walk for now. And occasionally a trot. I wasn't ready to take any chances. But I knew that no matter what, my grandma or my parents might say, this was the horse for me. And she was so thrilling to ride. Even her trot was so flowy. I know I sound like I'm gushing, but it's true. I dismounted. I decided it was time to have her rest for the night. Off her bridle. I took off her shipping boots and began grazing. I had promised her I'd be back in the morning. I hope she knew that. I hope she didn't think I'd abandon her. But it really was getting late. And I needed to get back. It's going to take ages on foot. Well, see you guys in the morning. It's early and i just gotten downstairs. And now I haven't even bothered to into my pajamas. As you can see, I just, you know... Throw on a pair of sandals, and now I am going to go visit my my new horse. And I don't even know if she's my new horse yet. I just think she might be, but I've thought of a name for her. It's Starshine, and I thought of it while I was in bed last night, and I think it's a good one. So let's go outside. Nice day out, I guess. I sound like a poem, but... The, the sky was blue, the birds are singing, it was basically a really good day. So, I began the trick down to the paddock. Looks like grandma's got back from her conference. Oh no, I hope she doesn't see me. She would not appreciate me going to visit my 
What? Not quite my horse. Wearing my pajamas. She looks busy. Did you should notice? <sighs> you know what? I think I just better run. So I remember putting Starshine on the west paddock. So let's go. I'll see you guys there. When I got down to the paddock, Starshine was waiting in the mound that for which she had claimed her own. I gave her some cuddles and decided to lead her back to the back to the manor. We got back to the manor. Grandma was not happy with us. After she gave me a talking to, which took pretty long, I didn't include those parts. But but she told me that I was not right until I at least changed out of my pajamas. So I took Starshine over to the over to the nearest fence. After tying her to the white picket fence, I changed my top. Now where was it? Oh, here it is. I put on my gloves, then my normal black, put on my favorite white breeches, white cream boots would do nicely I think, of course no one goes riding without their riding hat, sufficiently dressed, or so in my opinion and my, my grandmother's I went down the steps and surprisingly Starshine was not tied to the picket fence. So I went to talk to my grandma. Grandma where's Starshine? I left her eye over there. Did Khan take her away already? My grandma assured me that no one had done any such thing and that she had been put away in the stable. I was not too happy with that. She was apparently my new horse and I was supposed to settle her down. Grandma told me not to make a fuss, but yeah, I decided not to listen to her. I was done throwing a tantrum. I ran to the stables. It was not very busy. There were a few riders taking their ponies out for a spin, but not many. Someone had obviously not bothered to mark out the stalls yet. Hmm, who was on stall duty today? Let me check. Oh, there's the Lord. Who is on stall duty? Whoops! Looks like it was me. I better I get to down to the it. Stalls. Horses. Of course, give them some water. Chores, I decided to tack up Starsha. She had on a pretty good bridle. I decided to tack her up with my favorite white saddle pad, my best white saddle, and I even went the extra mile.
where are they? Oh, there they are. And put on her shipping boots. She wasn't going anywhere. Or I don't think she was. But I didn't want to take a chance. First official ride on Star Shrine, so I decided to take it easy. I rode her outside, and I didn't realize it was getting pretty late. It'll be dark soon, and I really wanted to squeeze a lesson in today. I knew how much Grandma hated riding in the dark, so if it got any darker, I wasn't riding today, and I had to make a count. I kicked her into a control candor and asked Grandma what, what was I supposed to do now? Should I just ride her around the manor? My grandma told me that we were going to, going to go for a lesson. He told me to stick her in the trailer, but I decided not to. The, the ring was not far from here. I could ride Starshine down. Grandma wasn't too happy, but I convinced her in the end. The ring was fine. Some people say you can't be found. You're not around. We were here. I was right. We were supposed to go in the outdoor ring. The trainer was nice and told me that the station was a very pretty horse. Not the first thing I heard to hear from a trainer, but hey, it boosted my confidence. I told her exactly what I know about her, her quirk, which is not much. I've only known her for a day, you know. But after we had a little chat, the trainer told us to, to canter a 20 meter circle around the ring, and then we would, we would do some flat work dressage, and if we were... If we were really good, we could even try some cavaletti poles. I think that would be. I think that's what it's called. Some people say you can't be found. You're not around. Oh, some people say that you're not real. A fairy tale. It was a great lesson. The trainer told me that Starshan was a fine young horse. And that with a bit of training, the bad habits she learned in her in her previous home could easily be corrected. On the way home, I didn't even try to check her when she started running away from the from the pit. She she'd been cantering, trotting and walking in circles for a whole half hour. I let her run loose. But I wasn't silly. I slowed her down when we got to the manor. She'd had her moments. Just like any horse, Starshine deserved lots and lots of pats and praise before I had to attack her. I gave Starshine lots of love, which she surely deserved. Afterwards, I went outside to see what Grandma's decision was about Starshine. Even though I knew Mom had liked her, the real decision rested in Grandma's hands. She was the one who got me interested in horses after all. Mom was a stable hand, and Dad, well, I just, you know... Nothing with horses, really. From, from afar, Grandma looked happy enough, and that was surely a good sign, wasn't it? But I did not want to give up Starshine. Not for, not for all and the long talk with Grandma, and she seemed to agree that Starshine was the perfect horse for me. She said that, that she hadn't seen me so happy in a long time, especially not after the snow angel was sold. So, it's official. I am officially a horse owner again. Yay! Back to Starshine's store to break the good news. I didn't know if horses could understand human language, but I didn't care. I told her everything about how Snow Angel, about how I'd outgrown her, and, how, and about how I needed a new horse. Well, there, um, I don't know. 
and the fact that Starshine had become my new horse. You know those cheesy movies where in the end the heroine gets exactly what she wanted and she lives happily ever after? Well, that's the kind of movie I live in. Oh my gosh. Three days of filming, two hours of editing, and this is the result. I really hope you guys enjoyed the movie and uh... Did this horse just go through? Starshine? Never mind. Anyway, I just want to say thank you for watching until the end. And let me know if you want to see the continuation of Caitlyn's journal series. My idol is Hannah Opaltree, and if you have not checked out her channel, you should really go check it out because she does realistic roleplay videos too. And well, she's basically the reason I started doing realistic roleplays. I used to just do gaming, it seemed easier, but now I think realistic roleplay is really fun and it feels like you know you're really riding instead of. You know, you can't really make your horse go gallop crazy in real life, could do. And, and the same way, you, you can't do that in realistic roleplay. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And I'll see you all next time. Bye! Thanks for watching! Some of my other videos down here!